Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is do the word, pray for others. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people, ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Today we continue with our series on doing the word. Our anchor scripture is one that I think some of us take for granted. That portion of scripture gives us a few instructions that we should obey. It says we should pray for all people. Do you pray for all people? I intercede for people a lot, but I honestly have not been praying for all people. So as I prepared for this episode, I repented and I have now begun to pray for all people, whether I know them or not. The Bible tells us how to pray, to ask God to help them and intercede on their behalf. Question, what do you do when you hear about things on the news? Do you just listen, spread the news and go your way? Or do you take the time to pray for the people affected? Pray for people, whether you know them or not. You hear there is a flood in an area, Pray for the people of that area. Make it a point of duty to pray for all people. That scripture then goes on to say that we should also pray for kings and all who are in authority. This is a big one. The world over, most people are disgruntled and dissatisfied with the governments in power in their territory. So rather than pray for them, people curse their governments and speak ill about them. While it sometimes feel like, feels like the natural thing to do because of how badly some governments perform, we are called to do the word and doing the word in this instance will mean praying for people in authority, asking God to help them and interceding for them. Question, have you been praying for those in authority? Have you been praying for the men and women in positions of authority in different spheres in your community? If you haven't, please repent, but don't just stop at repentance. Now actually do the word. The Bible says that praying for leaders and those in authority will enable us live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. Doing the word will bring you benefit. But even if the Bible didn't talk about any benefit, as believers, we are called to do the word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word this morning. Lord, this morning we pray for people all over the world. We pray that you will help men and women who need your intervention. We pray in the name of Jesus for those who may be struggling in one way or the other, that you will meet them at the point of their needs. We pray also for leaders and those in authority. We pray for wisdom and grace for them, that they will take decisions that bring you glory. Help us to continue to do the word and continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.